Craig Wilkins, Old Dominion University, linebacker, number 12. Um, it's a great honor. I mean, I had it at the beginning of last season. Um, it's a very good award to have. Quarterback Taylor Heineke received the Player of the Year award. Ronnie Cameron was one of the elite defense linemen of the year, received that award. Um, hopefully this season I'd like to be included as one of the top linebackers in the nation. Um, it's a very beautiful trophy. Very heavy, but it's a very beautiful trophy. Definitely something I would love to have. Um, it's almost like a Super Bowl trophy. <laughs> Um, right now, guys are just focused on this upcoming season, but yeah, we're still excited. Um, despite not being able to play for the CAA Championship, our hopes always have been as a program to play for the National Championship. So, um, right now, guys just working out, running, doing extra work, Team 707, things like that, just trying to get better to work towards this National Championship and get back to the playoff tournament. Uh, well, I feel, as a linebacker, I break the table. One of my strengths is my athleticism that uh, I've carried over from being safety. I still can cover. I still uh, can run well in space. I can cover slot receivers and running backs up the backfield without it really being a mismatch. Um, the other strengths, I'm, I'm very good in the run. I feel like I'm a good tackler, but I'm not a great tackler. So I can be more physical. Um, you know, um, I'm, good. I'm good at like reading the offenses, knowing tendencies, things like that. Uh, my linebacker coach is very big on film, so whatever we, whatever tendencies we can find for teams, we use, and it, and it helps you on the field. Mm-hmm. I guess most of my highlights are me, well, physical play. Because last year, I played um, outside linebacker. Now, technique is me just being physical with, with tight ends and other offensive linemen. Um, some big hits, probably some good pass coverage in there. Um, had it. I uh, had an interception in there, um, but I was just pretty much running out, running across the field, making plays. That's what most of my highlights to be. Uh, I really don't have a pre-game routine. I just, I don't know, go in the locker room, get take, drink Gatorade. I mean, I talk to guys, mess around a little bit before the game. Um, I go on the field. I have a routine on the field. I just go through some, some position drills just to get loose and ready for the game, but besides that, I have no set routine. So I don't I don't have a set playlist. I just listen to my music on shuffle, and I don't have an iPod, so I just listen to the music on my phone. Oh, um, yeah, Coach Wallace is a great leader. Been a great one since the first day. Um, he's doing everything he can to put the program in the best position possible for now and the future. Um, being here since the first, since pretty much the first day of practice, I mean, you can, you can tell it was evident that he just didn't want to come be a number startup program just to compete. He wanted to win. And us as players felt the same way. And he inspired us to go out there and play play how we did the past three years. And I'm just glad it led to led to the school you moved in the conference USA. Um, the future of the program looks bright. I mean, moving the conference USA is a big deal. I mean, especially in three years. I believe we're the fastest startup program to do so. I guess next is the University of South Florida. But um, if, if you actually me on the team, it happened kind of early, but it's still not that big of a surprise. I mean, I guess with the success of the team, Conference USA so is a um, very attractive school, including all our other sports are pretty well. So I guess football was the was the uh, nail in the coffin for Conference USA to come to come uh, uh, add code Dominion to move in. But um, the future looks bright. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I come back two years from now, stadium holds maybe forty thousand. Or do you like one of the top tier Conference USA teams playing in bowl games every year? Um, just being here before then, I'll, I'll, I'll just be happy to come back and see that. Pretty simple. Like I'm going to say, I'm a football player. I just sleep, play video games. Um, as far as hobbies, I mean, I draw. I draw sometimes. I was pretty good. Got a, actually got an art portfolio book from high school. Um, besides that, I mean... I just sleep and play video games, really, and watch TV. <laughs> Pretty boring. Um, I don't know. Uh, my family's pretty good. I mean, I'm the main athlete of the family. <laughs> my oldest brother played football in high school, but I'm, like, the only one that really played on the collegiate level. Um, I don't recall my mother playing any sports. My father didn't, like, really play any sports. <laughs> 
Hopefully my my youngest brother plays sports. But um I guess um the only thing I tell about my family is must um, we must have good genetics, I guess, because of the way I came out. I mean <laughs> uh, my body fat five percent, but I guess the rest of my fat well, I guess the rest of my family don't lift weight, so you wouldn't you wouldn't see how strong the rest of my family is. Craig Wilkins represent Old Dominion University. Um, my goals for this upcoming season, first of all, is to um, get back to the national national championship playoff tournament, and next goal would be to get to the actual um, national championship. Um, team wise, um, take it one game at a time. We definitely want to win all our home games, and, and continue to do well on the road, which should put us in a good position to be in the playoffs. Myself personally, um, my goal for this upcoming season at least have. I guess over 120 tackles since I had 100 last season. Um, uh, no really other goals that wise. Um, I guess just be a great leader to my teammates, help help put us in position to win games, and yeah, um, be a national champion. Um, I guess that's all I have. So shout out to Monarch Nation. Go Big Blue.